Hi everyone, this is Anna from VB Stadium and in this video I will guide you through the block section of the Presidents. I will show you how to create a list with all the blog articles in your site and how to create a blog post as well. A blog post is any article that is published in the blog section of a website. You can write articles about local real estate events, market news, your office activity and any other relevant topic for your clients. First, I will show you how to add a new blog post in WordPress. To add a new blog post, you go to VP Admin Dashboard Posts and you start adding the blog article. First, you add the blog title. Next, you set the default appearance settings for your article. The most important one is the slider section. This section will show if you keep the setting group pictures in slider to yes. It will show all the pictures attached to the post and in the slider you can also add a video that can be a Vimeo or YouTube one. Next you can choose to have custom appearance values for hero header, search and sidebar. I will just make some settings here to see how it works but we already covered this in a previous video. The next step is to add a featured blog article image and while you add this image you can upload multiple images to this post so they show in the article slider. I will add now five images from my local computer. I will select one as my featured image and I will make sure group slider is set to yes. The next step is adding content to the blog article. The team is compatible with WordPress default editor Gutenberg. This is the editor I will show you how to use first. With Gutenberg, you can add text, you can format the text, you can also add images and you can upload images or use existing ones from your computer. Then you can add lists and so on. I will let you study this editor in detail by yourself because there are several other tutorials on how to use this part of WordPress. You can also use Elementor Page Builder to edit the article content area. Elementor will allow you to add a text section the same as Gutenberg and it will allow you to add other sections too with Elementor widgets. And for those who do not want to work with either Elementor or Gutenberg, you can use Bakery for blog post description as well. Just make sure you enable the Bakery editor for posts as I am showing you here. Select Post and then Save Settings. Next, I will show you how to create a blog list page with VP Residence page templates. First, go to Pages, Add New and start by adding a page title. You can manage the appearance options as you wish for Transparent Header, Search Form Display, Hero Header Media and Sidebar Display. From the Templates menu, you must select the Blog List Page template. This template will automatically list all the blog articles you have published. After you make the selection, save your page and check the front-end URL. You will see it automatically shows your blog articles published. As you create your homepage or other internal pages, you can use shortcuts to display blog posts as well. Next, I will create a new page and I will show you how to use the Presidents block shortcuts for Elementor. Create your page and click Edit with Elementor. The first shortcut I want to show you is the VP Residence block list. You can use drag and drop to place this shortcut anywhere in page. From the blog options, you can choose how to display the articles. You have several options here. You can choose how many blog articles to show by default and you have two controls for row and in total. You can select the post categories and this will auto-populate with your blog articles categories and you can select one of the free design tags. Then you can style the short code and add a custom font, font weight and so on. Everything it is managed from the shortcut style settings and gives you freedom to make further edits to this look. The next shortcut I want to show you is the VP Residence Items slider. This can be used for properties, agents and articles as well. 
You have several controls for this shortcut as well, such as where to position the slider arrows, if you want to show uh, the articles in a specific order, and auto scroll time. Next, we will check out the page we created. As you can see, the slider includes a blog article without a featured image. And in this case, you can set the featured image from edit post, set featured image section, select any image you wish, make sure it is saved. And as we refresh the page, you will see the blog featured image in the card. Next, I will show you the team options settings for the blog post page and the blog post category page. From appearance settings, you can change the sidebar position for the blog category list page. You can choose the sidebar position and select a custom header. This will apply both to property categories and blog post categories. From the header section, you can control the hero media for the blog post category page, which is controlled for the taxonomy section here, or for the blog post itself, which is controlled from media header type section here. From the search display settings, you can hide the search for all categories from here, and it will be applied to property categories and blog post categories. And now we will see our result. This is a category list page, and you can see it has no header and no search as we set in team options. And the blog article will have the hero header media selected as global as long as you keep the global hero media settings enabled. This sums the most important features related to VP Residence and blog post management. Remember to subscribe to VP Residence YouTube channel to stay informed when we add new videos. Thank you for watching.